this isn't about two guys who play every night. This is about two guys who should. This is about the grinders. The role players. Wolves forward Mike Davies is a role player, but he's not bitter. It's been tough um, knowing, you know, coming in and knowing you're going to be the go-to guy. And, um, and with the lockout, these guys are down here. So it's been tough, but, you know, it's just one of those things that I can't control. And, uh, you know, just come to the rink every single day, have fun. Um, and, uh, you know, my buddy uh, Blake Jeffrey, on, who played for Montreal down in Hamilton, uh, about a month ago he got hit with a skate, um, you know, in the face or in the head. And, uh, you know, I was hanging out with him, and uh, he was telling me, I was telling him, why aren't you playing? And I was like, you know, I told him because of the lockout, obviously. He's like, hey, you know, just wake up every day and have fun. The game was taken away out of my hands and uh, you know hopefully he can still come back and play but as of now he, he can't the rest of the year so you know that really put in it was like a wake-up call like hey you wake up every day and you know and you you enjoy what you have you know because one day it's not going to be here I think I've proven that I, I can play at this level definitely and I think I've had a uh, a great impact whenever I have been in the lineup. You know, it's just one of those things that you have to be ready every single, every single day, every single, every single shift. And uh, I thought that, you know, I've done well, I've worked hard, and um, you know, I think the coaching staff, I think they're happy with, with what I've done, you know. So, uh, and uh, that's my goal is, you know, just to be ready when, you know, the lockout does end. Off ice, Mike brings a personality. It's great having personalities on the team and somebody that's funny and, you know, there's always one. There's always a conversation when he's around. Like he's got good banter with the guys, and that's a you need those kind of gel guys in the dressing room. On ice, he's probably the most skilled guy in a small area with the puck passing, shooting. I think he's uh, incredible with the puck. So, um, you know, personally, I I'd like to see him get more ice time. And again, the, the amount of numbers this year, it's been kind of a a weird year for I think for everybody. Uh, but now, with some injuries, uh, he's getting increased ice time, and I think. Uh, he, he will work his way into the coach's uh, uh, game plan. Davies isn't the only player on the Wolves roster looking for more ice time. Defenseman Zach Miskovic is in the same situation. We're very similar in, in the situation that we're at. Um, a lot of extra guys means that our ice time might be limited or our games played might be limited, but uh, we both work hard. Uh, we, we, always, we both want to strive and do the extra mile. I know he's here doing extra stuff in the morning, uh, and you know we definitely do talk. And uh, there are games that we said, you know, we're in the stands together. Obviously, we talk. So, um, but I think we both uh, both have the right heads on our shoulders, and we're taking it the right way. And uh, obviously, we can help each other out uh, with the situation. And uh, when we need to vent or talk, uh, he's right there. So. That goal won that hockey game. Miskovic was scratched for the team's next two games. It brought back memories of his final season in Hershey, where he was demoted after two productive years. That night I was on cloud nine after that goal. Uh, I was really excited, really pumped to be uh, on the ice, getting, given the opportunity to obviously be in the overtime playing four on four and then being able to score and having friends and family in the stands was just uh, outstanding. So uh, obviously I was I'm, Really excited about that moment, and uh, when I found out we were going to Abbotsford and I wasn't in the lineup, uh, it was definitely you know brought back memories from uh, the previous year. So it definitely made it hard, but uh, with conversations with the coaching staff uh, and the management, I think uh, it's what needed to happen that was best for the team. Everybody's roster throughout the league is a little bit stacked. Um, there's some more high-end talent on every team that you'd probably see in the NHL at, you know, once that opens up. So there's probably two or three roster spots on every team that are um, being filled by NHL caliber players and that's sort of a trickling down and um, keeping some other guys like you know, Zach and like Mike out of the lineup right now. And it's tough to see because you know, like Zach's a guy I've played with for three years in Hershey leading up to this. I know he can play. I know what kind of player he is and his work ethic and things and uh, Mike's doing the same thing and you know, they're, they're doing everything right. But the numbers are just against them, and it's sort of it's frustrating for those guys um, 
So they have to come and work hard and they have to come and you know work out after practice and they have to do the same things we're all doing. But it's just they're not really having that carrot dangling in front of them at this at this point in time. So it's it's tough to see on all of us, but um, I mean those guys are being unbelievable teammates about it, and that's I mean that's the big thing. When you're out of the lineup, you can take it two ways. You can either be a downer, walk around with you know frowning your face and be visibly you know upset and depressed about it, or you can just be yourself, be upbeat, be around the team, and you know enjoy yourself. Realize that it's it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. He's right. You know it's uh, you know guys that aren't you know aren't playing. That's where teams tend to fall apart is because those guys are you know in terms of a cancer in the locker room and you can't be like that you know it's uh you know you're a team and at the end of the day even whenever you do get in you know you uh, you're a team at the end of the day keeping it all in perspective is as important for the coaches as the players they know this season isn't like most they both know their responsibility and what their roles i mean we talked about at the beginning of the year that you know, they were kind of going to be on the edge, I mean, whether it came to how many games they were going to play or how much ice. And there, there are guys that are getting hurt by all the NHL guys being here. But those are two guys that we also need, are going to need if the NHL does go back, that they're going to get bigger roles. But um, right now we've reduced our numbers. Uh, we have injuries that only have, allows us to have right now to have 13 forwards. We have one extra defenseman and, uh, you know, whether that's Miskovic in or out. Um, you know, he did a great job the other night coming in. He's a, he's a player that has some uh, experience that comes into the lineup and knows what his job is. And whether he plays the next night or next night or, uh, or, or is, he sits out, he works the same way in practice. He's got a great attitude. He's a good person around, a good teammate to be around. And they know that, what's happening with him. And when they get their opportunities, just put their best foot forward and show us what they have. We have the lockout going on. Guys could be playing the NHL, but that's, you know, there's this big, unique situation this year. Um, you know, sometimes mentally it's draining on those players. Uh, and and we, we've seen that. We've been through lockouts uh, as players and, 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 and coaches. And uh, so we can, uh, I guess, bring our experiences to those guys and try to help them through this. Uh, you know, try to make everybody buy into what we're trying to do here. Life's not easy. And and even in everyday jobs, stuff's gonna happen where you know somebody else might get the job instead of you because of you know where they stand in the company or, or certain qualities that they bring. So I mean, it's just one of those those good life lessons to learn that you know it's just you just gotta keep working hard and you gotta keep battle and you can't get too down. And and I think those guys realize it. I mean, in the end, it's 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 probably better for them and it's good for guys to to have that competition. They really deserve your ice time because you, when you get to when you get in the lineup and when you're playing. You don't take things for granted. You're not, you're not, you know, you're just, you're not just going through the motions. You really understand the value of being put in that position. So I just think it's it's great sometimes to have a big roster and have guys competing for jobs. While they wait for more ice time, Mike and Zach provide the rest of the team something not found in any stat column: the spirit of the wolf. I think the biggest thing is just. You know, this, the friendships and relationships. You know, even though I'm not playing, you know, or if I if the lockout does go a whole year, you know, one thing you're getting from me is I'm going to work hard every single day. I'm going to come to rank positive, and to make sure this team, you know, stays together. Even though I don't have a letter on my jersey or, or any of that, I'm, you know, I'm a big team guy, and you know, I like to have fun in the locker room and stuff. Just uh, wearing that name on my back uh, is the number one motivating factor, and giving my best every single night.